Alright guys, uh, this isn't going to be well, like one of my normal videos like a squad builder or something like that, it's going to be my uh, Barclays Premier League team of the season predictions and I just, these are the, this is my opinion, you may have a different one, I think some of the players you're definitely going to have a different one on, but going into the first player of the, my team of the season uh, is going to be David De Gea for the goalkeeper for Manchester United. 90 diving, 93 reflexes, 77 handing, 88 kicking, 55 speed, and 81 position. Uh, my predicted stats of his. Uh, he's had a really good season for Manchester United. Pulled off some really good saves, saves when he's needed to. Always been in the right positions. Sometimes has been caught out, like a couple of mistakes, but name a goalkeeper that hasn't. And then going on to the right back, we have Bakri Sanya. I was going to put him as a centre back, but he seems to do a better job at right back uh, in real life and on FIFA. He has 84 pace, 80 dribbling, 85 defending, 83 heading, 81 passing his predicted stats. He's in form, he's at a centre back. I was going to put him there as I said, but I wouldn't have had room for the two that I wanted. Uh, then, first centre back is going to be Yunus Kabul. 81 pace, 50 shooting, 65 passing, 60 dribbling, 86 defending, 88 heading, with predicted stats. Uh, really good quality centre back on the game. I think he's got like, on a free key, he's got like something like 99 shot power or something like that. One of the few players in the game with that on a standard card. I think he's the only on a, uh, like a 9 in form. But yeah, he's been playing well for Tottenham. Uh, hasn't really been in much of the games, but. I like him, just his playing style is really good, like he's always passing it. I was going to put him higher passing, but he's not really on to make that improvement. Then second centre back is going to be Vincent Company. 83 pace, 62 shooting, 83 passing, 78 dribbling, 90 defending, 87 heading. Uh, 90 overall rated cards, he's the same rating as his team of the season last year. It's some of his similar stats to his one last year as well, but these are my predictions and opinions so you obviously have different ones and the colour I just want to say first aqua I was going to do the uh, the dark blue like the team of the years but last year the team of the years were uh, normally in forms and the team of the seasons were blue so I thought I'd differ from it but it's one of the main reasons uh, that Man City won yesterday against Manchester United and one of the reasons they got as far as they did in the Champions League he did miss a header though against uh, Real Madrid which probably would have put them into a, uh, a getting further on in the Champions League then at left back there's only one choice the England international Leighton Baines for Everton 84 pace, 78 shot 84 passing, 85 dribbling 81 defending, 75 heading he has got a really good free kick his team this season last year had uh, probably the best free kick I've used on the game, didn't have the best stats but the, he's, the way he like moves towards the ball on a free kick and long shots was just incredible. Uh, the first centre mid then is going to be uh, Bale, Gareth Bale at a cam, 92 overall rated, tied for the highest rating in his team, 95 pace, 80, 91 shot, 88 passing, 90 dribbling, 80 defending, 36 heading. He has got a third in form, the only player on the game with that so far, who's an 88 rated cam. He's got similar stats to this, he's got one less pace and a bit less shooting and I think his dribbling's actually better. I didn't really look at his uh, third in form, <clears throat> but he's the, he is Tottenham at the moment. He's had an incredible season. Probably if I don't know if the Prem do like player of the season, but if he did, he'd probably win it because a couple of in the couple of games that he, uh, he hasn't played, he's missed a few. Tottenham have had performed nearly not as well as they should have. Only scored about three uh, about two goals on average a game when he's on there. It's over three again goals a game, and he completely changes there. He's like the better one of the best cams in the world when he does when Tottenham put in there. He just controls the play style, and he can always uh, get past defenders and take that shot. Then second centre mid is going to be Marouane Fellaini, 79 pace, 84 shot, 85 passing, 82 dribbling, 87 defending, 88 heading, 86 rated card. Really underrated player on Ultimate Team. <clears throat> he. In real life, I think he's a centre mid naturally, but Everton, over the past uh, two seasons, have been playing him striker just because when there's a corner or like he's on the ball, he's so strong and tall, no one could touch him. He's six foot four, I think. Uh, I don't know if he says. 194 centimetres, yes, that's probably around six four, six five. 
but he's does have two in forms. His second in form is uh, incredibly good. I think it's 83 rated. Uh, going on to the last centre mid, then is going to be Yaya Torre. All green stats again: 89 rated, 83 pace, 84 shot, 86 passing, 83 dribbling, 86 defending, 88 heading. Probably the best is normal. It's probably the best all rounded card in the game. Uh, it's just incredible. His team with the season last year was incredible as well. I think it was a 90 rated and had a couple of better stats than this, but he's been playing really well for Man City. They have moved him up to like the centre forward role because he can. He's so tall and strong. He just uh, jump through and uh, and like pass defenders. Uh, going on to centre forward, then we have Santi Cazorla. 87 pace, 86 shot, 93 passing, 90 dribbling, 56 defending, 70 heady, 90 overall rated guard. Uh, he has re he recently moved to Arsenal at the in the summer transfer window from Malaga, I think it was. His default there was uh, on the right, but he's been playing in the mid and up top for Arsenal. He isn't the tallest. I think he's only about five foot six. He looks really small on the pitch uh, and on FIFA as well. But yeah, he's a really good player. He does have. Uh, couple of informs. His first inform for me I think is better than his second. I don't know why it's just uh but his second does have ninety nine free kick accuracy so you're bound to score one with him. Then going up to the first striker we have Luis Suarez. He's like Marmite, you love or hate him. I don't really love or hate him, I don't mind. I think he's just a quality uh quality striker in the Prem. I think it's because he's all that stuff with racism like sort of but put him down in the like the tabloids and stuff. But he's 88 pace, 94 shot, 83 passing, 93 dribbling, uh, 61 defending, 77 heading. Uh, he's he's been a bit like Gareth Bale here. He's uh, he's been like carrying Liverpool on his back here. I think him and like only five other players have scored for Liverpool in the entire season. He's the most by. I think he's nearly tied for top goal scorer. I think the other one's Van Persen. He's the other striker. We'll get onto him after. But he's just. Yeah, he hasn't played much internationally for Uruguay, but because uh, they choose Cavani over him for the start, but he does uh, start sometimes and get brought on. Uh, then the last uh, starting eleven player of this team is going to be Robin Van Persie, newly transferred to uh, Man U from Arsenal in the, in the summer transfer. Eighty-five pace, ninety-five shot, eighty-four passing, eighty-seven dribbling, fifty-two defending, seventy-four heading. I think his standard card's got the third best shot in the game. I think it's only no fourth, sorry, no, it's probably third actually. I think it's only Ibra and uh, Ronaldo that have got a better shot than him. But he has. I was going to put Rooney in this team, but I didn't because he hasn't been playing this well. I think he's only got something like 13 games this season, whereas Van Persie's got over 22, I think, and he's just been incredible this season. Probably the biggest uh, signing of the entire year. And uh, both uh, transfer windows. So going on to the subs bench now. Uh, the first uh, sub substitute is going to be Christian Benteke. He is a silver originally, but I've put him up to a 79, which is a gold. 85 pace, 79 shot, 69 passing, 79 dribbling, 51 defending, 83 heading. He has been. He has got a long run of goals recently. I think he scored. It's like seven in seven games, which is incredibly good for a striker his age, and like he's only been there f uh, for half of the s uh, for the season so far. He's only about 22. He's got a long, good career ahead of him, and he's just an incredible player for Villa. Uh, then the second substitute is going to be Xavier Hernandez. Uh, 93 pace, 84 shot, 85 passing, and 73. No, 85. 73 passing, 84 dribbling, 50 defending, 85 heading. He doesn't. I don't think he started a game this year, like in the league. I think he's only started in Champions League and like other cups like that. But when he gets brought on, he does sort of change it up. He does score a lot of headers. That's why I've put it up. It's 76 originally, which for someone who's quite small, I think he's only like five foot eight, five foot nine. He's really good. He's got. He just jumps up over everyone, and he's really intelligent. I found out. I watched. I think it was. I can't remember, but it was a YouTube's video. Yes, I think they said he speaks like seven or eight languages, and has got nearly passed and passed all of his GCSEs. Uh, then going on to the third substitute, we have uh, Juan Mata in the right mid, 90 rated overall, 88 pace, 85 shot, 86 passing, 93 dribbling, 51 defending, 72 heading. I wasn't going to put him in because I didn't really know where he played right mid or cam. 
But I watched a couple of the Chelsea games like on YouTube, and like, he's always on the wings. He's like adjacent to Hazard, just on different side of the pitch. Yeah, he's been playing well for Chelsea, as all the players have been for their teams. And I just think he's been sort of him and Torres up front always combine really well, score some great goals. And he does he does look a bit weird in his fur with the beard and everything there, or there. Uh, so he just probably short. I think he's got rid of it in real life, but I don't really know. Going on to the fourth uh, substitute is going to be Michu, 77 pace, 84 shots, 78 passing, 80 dribbling, 75 defending, 87 heading. Is like Suarez and uh, Gareth Bale, he is sort of Swansea as the other two are for their team. He's just always in the right positions, he can get a shot off from anywhere. At the weekend he, like, he got the ball past him, just stood still, took a shot and he hit the post and then uh, I think the rebound went to someone on his team and scored. But yeah, he's just been incredible. He did get a team in the season last year, which is an 85 rated, I think. I think it was a cam. But then he went down to a 74 because he got transferred to Swansea. He was at a Spanish league team uh, in La Liga, but I can't remember who it was. Uh, going on to the fifth substitute, it's going to be Matij Nastasic. 74 pace, 40 shots, 62 passing, 52 dribbling, 84 defending, 82 heading. I was going to go with uh, Thomas Vermaelen. But he's play he, Thomas Wilder's played more than Nastasic, but when Nastasic comes on, I think he just makes a real impact in the Man City defence. Him and company at the back on all my team and in real life are incredibly tough to beat. He's really young on career mode. He's a great player to get because he's only 19. He's got a re he's like Benteke. He's got a really good career ahead of him in uh, top flight football. Uh, going on to the second last uh, substitute, we have. Branislav uh, Ivanovic, 79 pace, 69 dribbling, 76 shot, 88 defending, 79 passing, 87 heading. I have put him as a centre back because that's where he's been playing the majority of the time for Chelsea this season. He is normally a right back. He has got an inform as a right back with uh, similar defending stats. But him at centre back, if you have him and uh, well, he's in form and back with Sane is in form. If you play them both at centre back. Uh, I think he'll get only 7 Ken, but they are incredibly tough to beat. They're both quite really quick and got incredible defending stats for uh, original fullbacks. And going on to the last uh, substitute is going to be Joe Hart. I was going to put him in over De Gea, but I just don't think he's been up to scratch for Man City. He has let in some uh, easy goals. He's got 90 diving, 87 handling, 87 kicking, 91 reflexes, 65 spin, 80 air positioning. He's just incredible. Just not as good though as I thought he was last season. Like last season, he just was better, but this season he just hasn't been up to scratch. But he has made some decent saves for Man City, but not as much as I thought he would. So that is my uh, Barclays Premier League team of the season predictions. You'll probably have some uh, like differentiative of opinions, probably with uh, Eunice Kabul. Benteke and all sorts like that, like players from your favourite team. Like some people might like want Gerard and Lampard in it, but this is what I think. This is who I think have played the best this year in the Prem. Uh, next one I'm going to do Bundesliga, then uh, League One. So if you have enjoyed, let's try and get uh, 25 likes on this video. Hopefully, I'll be able to do this this uh, series, well not series, just episodes for each different. Uh, main league and then I'll do one at the end for like the minor leagues like uh, the league uh, Bundesliga 2 and League 2 uh, French so if you have enjoyed please like subscribe cheers